best Irish music on irishradio.org with Jerry Byrne. Irish Radio, I'm Jerry Byrne. Now, since the start of uh, COVID and all the rest, we're speaking to many of the great and the good from the arts, sports, entertainment, the community, and uh, much more. Uh, I've actually got uh, three gentlemen uh, to uh, speak to now, and it's all to do with a young guy who has a lot of talent in a particular sport. Uh, His name is Adam Dempsey, and he has... uh, uh, proved himself to be an astounding talent in uh, boxing. Adam, it's lovely to talk to you. How are you? How are you, Jerry? Thanks for having me. I'm good, yeah. A real pleasure. Adam, tell me this. You you grew up in, in Dublin, and then your family moved right across to the uh, the West Coast and uh, Ackle. Yeah, the furthest west you could possibly go. <laughs> Indeed. That, that, must have been, that must have been some shock to the system. Ah, uh, yeah, it was, yeah, surely, like, growing up in the city, like, you know, it's kind of, it was rough at the start, you know, but after a while, like, you just get used to it, we have no choice. <laughs> right, yes, indeed. Tell me, Adam, how, how did you get involved in boxing in the first place? Um, I never actually boxed when I was in Dublin, it was only when I had moved from Dublin to Ackle that I picked up boxing. Oh. There wasn't really much to do in Ackle, you know what I mean? So, it got kind of boring. And my dad was like, why don't you just do boxing? So he was like, I'll search up the nearest clubs and just see where they are. So he searched them up and um, he found clubs like Westport, Golden Gloves. They're all kind of far from me, still about like 45 minutes. So he was like, you know, I'll just set up my own club. So he ended up building his own club. That's ours, Aqua Boxing Club. He's My dad's my main coach. Like He was my coach as an amateur. Right. Okay. And and has your dad uh, got a you know has he been involved in boxing before? Uh, no, he wasn't. A, he wasn't a boxer or anything. We kind of just picked it up as we went along, and yeah. Wow, that is incredible. That's kind of yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> That is absolutely incredible. Uh, you know, well done. Now, uh, I've got also uh, online. I've got Mervyn Turner. Mervyn, you're the uh, uh, you're Adam's manager. That's right, Jay. Good evening to you. Rhonda, tell me this: How did you how did you come to to be, to be Adam's manager? Well, it was through um, Mark Bell, who you've got on this evening as well. He um, coached um, Adam when he came over to the UK, and um, Mark and I run the Shamrock Boxing Gym over in Luton. So the tie-in was pretty much made there, and also I've got a lot of family over in Mayo, so it all sort of kind of filtered in and connected all together. Right, and have you been involved in, in boxing before, Mervyn? I've been in boxing for about 40-odd years, and uh, I'm a, a, a trainer, manager, and promoter. Okay, okay. Um, so we've, we, we've worked at all levels up to world level. Right, right. Uh, tell me, what, what actually, Mervyn, uh, makes uh, you know, a good boxer? This is from scum- somebody who, who knows very little about the sport. What, what is it? Is it strength? Is it uh, energy? Is it, what is it? It's, a, it's a, a combination of things. and it's, uh, If you could sum it up, you could, you could bottle it and sell it for a fortune. But um, it's different in different people. But it, you've got to have a will to win. And uh, mo- most successful champions have that inner strength and that just just that will to win, the will to overcome at all costs. And um, the, the physical side you can teach, but you can't teach that that will to win. Right. Okay. Okay. It's uh, uh you, you know, because uh, you 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 definitely need. I mean, you definitely need to be in in, in absolutely peak fitness in order to be able to uh, you know be involved in boxing. Well, absolutely. Boxing is um, the fittest sport from 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 head to toe, and um, you know it's a testament to Adam that uh, you know he came over from Dublin over to Ackle. His father set up a club. Neither of them have boxed before, I think. And uh, it's a testament to that young man there that you know he's come through. He's come up to national level, and uh, I'm very very sure he's going to have a very successful career. In the professional ranks, he's uh, definitely made for the professional sport better than he was the amateur, and he was very successful at that. 
That is excellent. Now, I'll go now to uh, Mark Byrne uh, from uh, Shamrock, uh, the Shamrock Boxing Club in uh, in Luton. Uh, Mark, how did you happen to come across uh, Adam? Um, well, it's, uh, I've had um, some good friends in Ackle for about 20 years now. Um, and his dad sent me a video of Adam training about five years ago, maybe a bit longer. Um, so I said, bring him over just before he was fighting, I think, for the All-Ireland. And he'd come over during that time a good few times, and we built a bond up, and uh, that's how we got introduced. Right, right. And uh, you, you're obviously in, uh, Mark, you were obviously impressed with uh, Adam. Most definitely. I mean, my, my biggest impression of Adam is his dedication. Right, and that's uh, that's obviously, you know, as well as what Mervyn said, that's obviously something which uh, you've you really got to have in boxing. You've got to be incredibly dedicated to it. Yeah, as, as a coach, you can teach them the skills. You can teach them strategy for a fight, particular fight or against an opponent. But if you haven't got the heart and dedication, we, we can't give you that. But Adam's got both of them in abundance. Right, that is that is excellent. So uh, he's coming over, I gather, Mark, in in April, uh, coming over to to do training with you. Know he'll be based uh, in in Luton with you. Yes, he will be. He comes over on the fourth of April um, for two weeks, just to really finalise his his, pro- his uh, professional paperwork with Mervyn, really, and just have a little training session with us. And then he comes back over on May the 16th for six weeks. Okay. Now, when you're training, uh, Mark, for, for boxing, uh, I mean, is it something, do you train every day? Or, I mean, or is it a couple of times a week? Or how does it work? Uh, so it, it depends on sometimes the fighter and what, what level they're at. Obviously, the higher the level you go, the more you train. You can potentially train four or five times a week, but twice a day. Um, with Adam and his, and his youth, you know, he'd have a natural fitness anyway. So but he, he'll train probably in the gym four times a day, uh, four times a week, three times will be boxing, once will be a strength and conditioning. But then in between that and what people don't realise is what he has to do on his own, like his runs and his sprints. OK, OK. It, uh, it, it reminds me actually of uh, quite a number of years ago, uh, when I was one of the first people to actually interview uh, a certain Tyson Fury in the very, very early days of uh, uh, of uh, you know of, of his uh, career, and uh, well, uh, we all know uh, you know where that all went to. I mean, have you got aspirations of that uh, of that level, Adam? What uh, uh, what what weight would you like to be actually uh, boxing at? Well, what would I be, like to be boxing at? It would definitely be welterweight, anyway. That's the way I want to box up. Welterweight or light welterweight, depending on how my body kind of like deals with the weight. That, like that will kind of be judged by my coach Mark anyway. So I'll just wait and see. Okay, okay. You don't have any preconceived, uh, you know, ideas on what uh, what weight you'll be uh, you, that you'll be uh, you'll be boxing at. Are you, you? No, no. Are you looking forward to the uh, you know to the change from Ackel to uh, to Luton? Yeah, yeah, because I've, I've been over there before, so, like, I know how it is, like, it's just, it'll be fun, like, something different for a while, like, it's nice just to get out and just do a bit of training. Indeed. Uh, training as well. And it's, it's, it's lovely, it, it must be great to have somebody like Mark in your corner, I mean, you know, with his with his experience and his knowledge. Yeah, yeah, it's great as well, and I'm staying with him as well, so, like, we'll just always be around each other, we just train all the time. Right, that's excellent. That is excellent. Hey, listen, well done on everything, uh, Adam, that you've achieved uh, so far. That's absolutely uh, superb. Uh, Mervyn, uh, well done on on uh, everything you've done with uh, uh, with Adam. He certainly looks to be on the way up. And uh, Mark, uh, you're the you're the future with Adam. Most definitely, most definitely. Listen, it's been lovely, lovely to chat to to uh, to the three of you. Adam, listen, I wish you all the luck in the world. Uh, the same to you, Mervyn and Mark. Listen, thank you very, very much indeed for joining me. Thank you for having us, Jerry. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry.